Hello everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy Turnabout Samurai Part 9. Now, we're going to the trial and let's get started on this 30 minute ish playthrough. October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked and evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. No, it's certainly not. October 19th, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Let's get the show on the road. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence of proving... <clears throat> Can I read? Please. <sighs> Boom. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if he'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manila to the stand. Or that director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude could you get? You don't know me? I'm the director! I mean, the steel server I knew! <laughs> Salmonella! I'm a director! Television! Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes Your Honor! Mm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Witness testimony day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailers, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Of course, let's get started on the cross-examination then. Cross-examination the day of the murder! Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh, oh no. I, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. 
Yeah, I know about the freaks. Yeah, I know a lot about the freaks in your industry. Still, as for you, I, I was pretty busy all that day. <laughs> Tell us more about that. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Seal Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else in the run-through? Oh yeah! That security lady was sitting there watching the whole scene. <laughs> she was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope! Just us four. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Alright, that's the lump. Which of course led to me missing my lunch, Ruffs! Ruffs? Falling on the floor, starving? What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. My sister cooks it up. Jeez! Ugh, creep! Come to think of it, there was a place with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else means the witness did not eat with them. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Um, I would say... Hmm. Let me see. Let me see here. Um. It seems a little odd. I think, I think I would probably put, like, maybe it's a little vague. Actually, there's something bothering me. Mr. Manila, just now you said steak, at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call! I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to starve. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to save off starvation. I don't blame him for wanting chocolate. I see. Ooh. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. You know what? It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manila! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the one in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, I, 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 uh, uh, good call! <laughs> I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat at you. Yikes, no. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat later. Sheesh! Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So, what exactly did you eat it? We took a break during that meeting. I, uh, I wrote it down then. <laughs> Jesus, man. Ugh. Mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. And they took a break in that meeting. That contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Hey, this. Wait a second. That, yeah, that contradicts it. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turned to me and say, uh, Mr. Medill, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can't you believe it? 
actually, I kind of can. Yeah, okay, yeah, certainly. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one! <laughs> what is he sweating so much about, I wonder? I wonder that too. That's what I'm wondering. If I only had an idea... Hmm. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Yeah, let's press harder. Wait a second! Mr. Manila, you just contradicted yourself! Oh yes sir, Bob, he did! Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during the break? Oops! <laughs> well... Um... Mr. Manila... <clears throat> Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Well, well yeah, I, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Miss Manila, your testimony, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Edgeworth is laughing. Witness testimony. The break. Yeah, for real, we took a break. <laughs> But it was only 15 minutes! 15! That's only 13 in phase 12! Not enough time for someone to say, Kimmy's murder in Studio One. <laughs> That's only just enough time to eat T Bone Steak, yes, me. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. That's not something to be laughing at, dude! Hold on, I just had to. I just readjust my chair. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. Let me begin cross examination. Let's cross examination the break. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30! That's the time of death! So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. What were you doing in those 15 minutes? Eat my T-bone steak! What else? There were two plates on the table? There were two plates on that table? I'm pretty sure... Considering Mike's... Like... From what I've seen... I don't think it will take like 15 minutes to, to eat a whole T-bone steak. But it, that that's just me. i never eaten like... A T-bone steak before. I don't like steak any anyway. But still... That's just me. Anyway, moving on. Oh, right. Uh, the other one was Diva's. Uh, uh, sorry. Diva's Kiss Plate. Diva's Kiss? The producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Why is that? Objection. Why? Uh, haven't we heard enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor. The testimony to this point is one made this testimony The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with its murder. Really? It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the stu- Can I read? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta think about this. I'm gonna look at my look at the court record for the profiles. Let's see. Someone in the trailer, which studio one? Yes! I claim it and I claim it loud! When I agree to let everyone in the trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I got the judge thinking now. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. Which I did! The court record? Surely you know that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock the path between the studios was blocked? Mrs. Monkeyhead's path is fallen. Mrs. Monkeyhead... Monkey... Uh, that... Mrs. Monkey's head has fallen across the path. Whoa! You're right! Sure, true, the break in the trailer meeting came right after. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to this crime. The path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey head barred the way! Actually, Mr. Monkey, but Edgework had to point. And somehow, I feel no desire to direct- And somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. R no counter-argument, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid you lose this round. Fuck! Oh, fuck. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. Whoa, what? It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking in decisive evidence is he's the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive ev- the prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed, that we indeed have decisive evidence, a witness. Let's see. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence, a decisive evidence, a witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. I will have order! A shame. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. October 19th, 11.04 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trial. Excuse me, can I read? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mamiya! Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on the trial before. Not while there was a chance. One, only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. 
That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... You. Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it! October 19th, 11.15 a.m., District Court, for number four. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years in this murder case, we worry that the defense may cause... We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. I see Edgeware taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, we're right! Guard, please feed him a box while no donut crates to do. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! What? Just cause you're a What? Just cause you're all grown up doesn't don't mean you can push me around. What? Just cause you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. Mm -mm. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. A judge, what? Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Witness! Uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with a beard over there? Just, Mr. Edward be my- I'm a beard gentleman myself. A very long day. Incidentally, Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> well, my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain turns with the kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. And what just happened to the music? What? <laughs> it's just all of a sudden cut out. I'm like, what? What just? What the hell just happened? Okay, Cody's camera, new digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he still learned how to use it. No, Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day yesterday. And I really hope the music fixes itself. Witness testimony. Witness account. Okay, music fixes itself. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. He went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy! Of course, the steel samurai took him down! Pow! He 
if I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense we can get is cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Mm -hmm. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Rouse examination, witness count. You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do! I taped every show! And I go to all the live performances! That's impressive. Had you been to the amusement park? Of course! Duh! My dad always takes me! Poor... Poor dad. Was that day the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling! Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops! I'm getting to it! How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez! <laughs> off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in the valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow... Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looks like he was thinking about something before going in. And he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person. Kinda tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda of far away. Oh, he's being awfully vague. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro! What a great actor! I yes, I suppose he was. If you had your camera? You mean, you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time! Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Alright. I'm gonna be leaving this on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So... Alrighty, I am going to be ending this Let's Play, well, this part of the Let's Play, just saying. But yeah, um, this has been Agent Fluffy, and I will see you guys next time when I continue on with this amazing trial. So, see you guys then. Bye! Hey everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me even more, feel free to support my Patreon. The links are right here.